Hey everyone! Before we start, I would like to give a special shout out to my good old friend MC Travis YT. He he's a really huge help to be honest, especially on the Discord server, where he is my right arm in the Discord server and takes care of things when I'm away. And to be honest, I would like to really promote his sprite work and modeling work because I think all of these look really really nice and it's really cool to see some of this content being made. Sprite work and modeling is really something we don't always see and I think it was really appropriate for the right arm of Sonic Station to have this special shout out. And if you want to submit more art, join our Discord server right in the description down below and check out my good old friend Travis, just check out the first link in the description down below. And without further ado, let's get this started, shall we? everyone, welcome to Sonic Station, and today we are going to play more Sonic 2 on Sonic Tuesdays. So if you enjoy this series, you already know it, don't forget, leave a like, subscribe, share with your friends, all those things, it makes me really happy, and it always makes everyone in enjoy the content, I think, yeah, if not, well, it is what it is. If you can support it, I really appreciate it, this takes some time to record, and I'm really happy sharing with you all my experiences playing Sonic 2 every Tuesdays. So, today's episode is actually something a bit interesting. Back in episode 3, if you don't remember, it is the infamous episode in which I spent almost 20 minutes in Dust Hill Zone. Damn it, Dust Hill. I actually tried to record some gameplay because there was Sonic 2 Long Edition featuring Knuckles as a playable character and I wanted to get some footage of him. But when I entered Genocide City, we actually didn't get the expected reactions. I mean, we can maybe put here some. Let's put here some of my reactions to what happens when you enter Genocide City in Sonic 2 Long Edition. And yeah, that was basically it. So, as you can see, things glitch up a lot, and it also happens in Eden Palace Zone, so yeah, it's not the best thing. So, yeah, unfortunately, I did some research, and I noticed that it only happened when you played those two zones. So, we could have recorded... Sonic 2 Long Edition, also with Knuckles, in Hood Zone, and in Dust Hill Zone. But actually, today's video is going to use the Sonic 2 Long Edition ROM, but it's actually going to be a normal gameplay of Knuckles. And you might ask, why is this special? Well, this is kind of special because in 1994, there was a technology called the Lock-On Technology, in which you can unite the Sonic and Knuckles original cartridge to the Sonic 2 cartridge and you can now actually play as Knuckles in Sonic 2, yeah! It was not a ROM hack, you could really play in the Sega Genesis as Knuckles in Sonic 2. I mean, how cool is that? I think it's really cool. And I think it was a really nice addition to the Sonic and Knuckles cartridge, and in case you don't know, you could act if you add some Quantum Sonic 3, you can actually unlock other games, just like Sonic and 3 and Knuckles, which is a union of Sonic 3 with Sonic and Knuckles, if you united the two cartridges, and if you united the Sonic 1 cartridge with the Sonic and Knuckles cartridge, you could get the Blue Spheres game in which you had a ton of Blue Spheres levels. And if I'm not mistaken, you could actually unite with other games and get some special, per se, levels of Blue Spheres, but it was only one. But it's still a really nice addition. I think that the Lock-On technology was really nice for 1994, but unfortunately, this was the only cartridge to feature that technology. So, yeah. Many people didn't know about it. I mean, many people know that there is Sonic 3 and Knuckles, 
but didn't know how it was made. And it's really incredible that in 1994 we already had this technology. I actually didn't know about Sonic 3 and Knuckles for a long time, because I had um, Sega Ultimate Genesis Collection, which actually does not feature the two games united, only separated for some reason. So, yeah. And I really think that playing as Knuckles is fine. Maybe his sprites could be better, but I mean, for 1994 to have this kind of revolutionary idea, seriously, it was really incredible. Like, it's DLC before DLC even existed. You can see how incredible it is. And with this, Emerald Hill is actually done. And we will actually jump around some levels just to try out different stages. I mean, otherwise we are always going to play the same stages. And that's not the idea. And we are not going to play Chemical Plant. We are actually going to play another one because we are going to feature Chemical Plant as the two acts of... Um, and we didn't get the code, sorry of the Death Egg Zone, which I did not present in Sonic 2 Long Edition. So, it will be kind of a mixed video, and in this way, we play with Knuckles, and no one will be sad. And I don't know why we can't really... Are you joking? I mean, we are supposed to get in, you know, the stage select. Up, up, up. Down, 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 left, right, left, right. Okay, finally it worked. So we are actually going to try out... We will try out Mystic Cave, and later we will try out the... Um, the Death Egg Zone stages that were added only in Sonic 2 Long Edition. So in this way we will feature both, and no one will be sad. And our boy Knuckles will, give, will get featured. Despite this being a normal edition, I think it was really nice to feature. And that's what Sonic Tuesdays is for, is to feature Sonic 2 content. And since this was official, but there is also a ROM hack, we can join both and get a really nice thingy to play with. Okay. Let's see... And... I'm really bad at playing as Knuckles, eh? am I? Okay, we have here a monitor. Okay, it is an invisibility. And we need to go up. Please go up. Man, playing as Knuckles is always fun. Am I the only one who thinks that having multiple characters makes Sonic games funnier? I don't think so. I think everyone likes to have different characters. But not, not like way too different from Sonic, but just enough so we can have a different experience. Okay, let's go to Mystic Cave, Act 2. By the way, here's a curiosity. Did you know that different, different acts are actually called zones in Sonic CD? I did not know this until I noticed it when I was playing, and I think it's interesting. I think only Sonic Lost World and Sonic CD have this feature, so it's nice. And nope, okay. 
Now, let's keep moving. And for those that don't know, this is the infamous pit in which Eden Palace Zone is actually here in the Christian Whitehead version of Sonic 2. Which is actually cool. So, I fell down on purpose to show that. And we died. But don't worry, we can get through it. No sweat with Knuckles' abilities. Okay. Let's keep going. Now a bit faster. Man, Knuckles Gliding is such a cool ability. Let's keep going. And, okay, we are actually alive here, thank god. Now we will go calmly, just so we don't die again. Let's move up. Okay, let's keep moving. Let's go down. And let's see. If we can defeat here a Mystic Cave boss. Actually, I don't play this boss now that often because we have the Hidden Palace boss, and yeah, I always go for the Hidden Palace zone route. And with this, we actually got through Act 2, which is really cool, and I think that we are going to move to uh, Dust Hill Zone. Ha! <laughs> nope. Nope. Nope, never. We'll never play this. Never again. So, now we are going to actually test the part that is only in the Sonic 2 Long Edition, which is this Death Egg. I heard that it has the same layout as Chemical Plant, that's why we did not test this in the Sonic 2 Long Edition. And that video really got kinda long, so yeah. It is basically a chemical plant, as you can see, but with a space effect. I actually think that Death Egg really deserved more, more acts, maybe just one, instead of two and then the boss. But for me it was really needed because, I mean, it's the Death Egg. I mean, you can see that in Sonic 3 and Knuckles, or just in Sonic and Knuckles, they realized that it was important to have others, other acts, so that was cool. But still... And with this we got through Act 1, and I can't wait to see what will be the Act 2 boss. I mean, what could it be? And I did not... Okay. Actually, is it the same? I don't think... Oh, okay, it was just the beginning. Okay, it's the same as Chemical Plant Act 2. But, as I was saying, I did not comment on the, on the song, but it is the same as the normal, normal Death Egg Zone song, so... I mean, it was expected.
Now I wonder what will the boss be. I mean, it was the chemical plant boss. I think it was in my God, Genocide City. So maybe it is not in here. We'll have to wait and see. And by the way, guys, what do you think of Knuckles as a character? Leave your comments down below. I find funny because I think that Knuckles' personality is actually different between the classic era and the modern era. Still, I kind of prefer how characters were portrayed in the adventure era. I think it was more... Um, realistic? I don't know if it is the best way to describe it, but I liked the way they were portrayed. And now we have, of course, the infamous cubes. And we will try to dodge them all. But at least we don't have space water. That would be weird to have space water. And with Knuckles, this is easy. Because Knuckles doesn't chuckle. He's, he just shows his muscle. Okay, I tried. And we will... Oh wait, we don't have a boss fight? Really? Oh, I thought we were going to have a boss fight before the boss fight. I mean, the real boss fight. But if it is like this, then... I think that's it for today. So, if you really enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, share with your friends, and maybe chuckle a bit with these videos, because Knuckles is here, and we all like our red echidna, so I guess that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode of Sonic Tuesdays. Take care, guys!